So this is the website of NCL. So NCL is the powerful software in atmospheric sciences and it has many applications. So the NCL actually the handle the data sets. There are different types of data. So you can handle this type of data. Model, it can be model data, it can be Moody's data, it can be remote sensing data, it can be like Landsat data, it can be station data, whatever. Different types of data we have, right? So NCL can handle this type of data directly. Then <coughs> the plot types, different types of plots can handle NCL. Even like we need sometimes the control plots, right? Streamlines, backdoor, scalar, XY plots. Even, you know the map projection, right? There is like Mercator, Lambert, etc., et cetera, different types of projections. So, can do by NCL. Then plot techniques. You can like draw two-dimensional vertical plots, animations, annotations, like different things here. We don't need to read everything. Then models. Maybe you are model user. Maybe you are you are using the WAF model. NCL has created the WAF function, so you don't need to create. You don't need to write code by yourself. Like other softwares, you need to uh, write by yourself. Or maybe in MATLAB it has, but sometimes you need to buy. But NCL is free, open source, so you can access right different types of models. There is a function in NCL. And NCL is NCAR command language. You know, the National Center for Atmospheric Research is from the America, Mego, Laowan. So, <coughs> then maybe you need to plot some special plots, right? Like event plots, histogram, ISO level, then meteograms, SQT, etc., etc., wind rows. Then, okay, this is the miscellaneous. Some analysis, right? In meteorology, we use the anomalies. Bootstrap, climate indices, we analyze the climatology, right? Then, like, this is from evapotranspiration. Then, monthly water balance, like the drought related, right? So, it has the function. We, we can uh, analyze the correlation, coefficient, then regression, then like UAF, right? UAF, ESF, different types of, even if you are the graphs user, even NCL can handle the graphs file. Even NCL can draw the MATLAB plots, even MATLAB colors. Like NCL has the built-in function, right? So this is the, uh, even like, in NCL, it's very easy to write, like you have the NetCDF file, file input and output. N NCL, like in graphs, graphs can open NetCDF4 files. But NCL can handle NetCDF, NetCDF4, HDF, GRIF, etc. Even the ASCII file. Maybe you have the NetCDF file, you want to export as a text file or CSV file or Excel file, NCL can do. So this is the NCL page. So if you need anything, you can go there. Okay. Now, uh, this is the NCL support. Let me copy there. Yeah, it has. Okay, so supports mean uh, there are some webinars. So you will find the documents, even you will find some videos. So they are talking about uh, how to process NCL, how to draw maps, how to analyze the data, how to create the array, etc., etc. So if you are the beginner, it's better to go there and see they're all scientists from America, from NCAR, okay? So NCL is funded by National Science Foundation in America. So this is for the support. Now, there is the reference manuals. So every software, every language has the reference. So how they go, right? You need to know the basics, the for how, then, when you learn the basics, then you go further, further advanced, right? But you need to know the basics. So this is the link you can download, but I already sent you, right? The language man. This one I already sent in WeChat. Yes. 
So there's a reference. I'll talk, but if you need to go there, you need to know more, then you can open this one, by. Right? Then I send this graphics man, like this is for graphics, like floating everything there. <coughs> so if, if you need to read more, but I will talk, try to talk everything and the basics, but if you need to know, then you can just open there. Even you can download from this link. Now, every software, every language has the forum, has the community, right? Like if you have some problems, we call the bug. If you need to fix the bug, right? You run the code, but you got some errors, or maybe the certain lines. Maybe you are the very beginner. You don't know why this error and what, from where it comes, right? In the programming, it has the logic, like one by one. If the, the previous line has error or the problem, like if you miss one comma, every language has the structure, right? If you miss one thing, so in the next line, you should know. It will not run. Even the whole code can't run sometimes. So you don't know, maybe they are beginner, you don't know from where you got the error, right? So there is the NCL support. This is called the NCL talk in the email system. So you can post there your problem, but there are some guidelines. It, it, it's free. It's free. There, there are like more than thousands of scientists there. So you, you ask your question, but it should be a reasonable question, right? You are not paying them. So this is a guideline. So you need to subscribe first. This is the link. You need to subscribe. Then posting guidelines like, do not attach the large file. Like, we have the big files. You don't attach them. OK, maybe you have the big files. But if you want to send, then visit this uh, NCLA page. There is option. You know the FTP, different OA, you can send the big file. But there is option. But don't send an email. Did you get it? If you want to send from Gmail, maybe more than 20 megabytes, right? It will not allow, isn't it? There is a limitation, right? So don't send the big data. Even messy script, like you just visit the website, NCL, even you don't know, just you copy the code and send to the NCL talk. It's not the way. That's why they said nobody is paid to answer NCL talk postings. Yeah, their time is also valuable, right? That's why you need to sit down. You need to learn the basics. And you need to know what is your problem. You need to ask the specific question. OK, I run this. This is my data. My data type is like this. I run this code from this line or from where? Why I'm getting this error? It should be clear message. Did you get it, what I'm saying? Then they will answer your question. OK, you got this error. Because they're a scientist, they know from where you got the error, right? They will help you, OK, use this function. Or maybe from this line, you have this problem. So fix this one. Then they, they will help you, and you, you, you can overcome your problem. Did you get my idea? So you will get that. Uh, when I was in a beginner, yes, I uh, posted in the instant talk, and I, I got a lot of supports. That's why I can learn. Okay, but it should be a specific question. Okay, so this is a rapid form NCL. Now, the data processing, right? <clears throat> so how NCL process the data? Like, if you have the data, right? It can be different type of data, near CDF, SDF, or ASCII. You know the ASCII and binary, right? ASCII is like human readable, some text, right? A human can read. But near CDF is like scientific data. You can't open. It's a binary. I will not talk about that because the first class in IMSHA was data science. Anyway, so this is the input file. You have different types of data, right? In input in NCL. NCL is based on Fortran and C. The course of mix of food and NC. But good thing is, NCL now transitioned to Python. NCL is now transferred to Python. But still, NCL has function NCL. But in future, even now, you can use Python or the NCL. That's up to you. 
So Python is like dominated language. So now NCL makes C and Fortran. Then process, then you will get the output. Like if you want to get the post script, like if you want to get the output, like you made a figure or, or plots, right? You can get it by PDF or PNZ or SVG or EPS, etc. etc. Even you can get the binary SDF, net CDF, or ASCII file, right? Okay, what I said, if you have the net CDF file, even you analyze, then you want to save as a net CDF the output, even it's possible. Even if maybe you want to extract the output as ASCII file, like uh, text file, or like CSV, or like Excel file, it's possible, right? That's a, this is the input. The inside code is mixed with Fortran and C. And the, then you will get the output. This is the NCL data processing, okay? Now, every time, in any software, any languages, if you want to analyze your data, know your data, know your data. You need to examine the file. Before you open in any software, you need to know your data. You need to know the variables, right? So in NCL, NCL file dump, this is the command. So NCL file dump can open uh, SDF file, GRIF file, NetCDF file. But if you have the Linux user, you can use ncdump. Even ncdump also can handle this one. But this is for Linux. But ncl file dump. So we have the data ncl uh, nc file ub.nc. In today's class, I will focus on this file ub.nc. From metrology, you know the ub, right? Zonal window and meridional root. So we will focus on this data. So if you have the data, UB, right? I already sent by WeChat. So open your Ubuntu. First, we will know our data, then it will open an NCL and it will talk. So, it's clear, right? Okay. So, there is option. Like, we need to change our directory, isn't it? So if we want to change our directory, there is an option, change directory. But if we are only Ubuntu, like from, you know the dual boot, we have the Linux dual boot. But otherwise, you can also use in Windows 10. Or maybe you can, uh, your user, uh, SQL user is fine. Both are Linux. Or maybe you have the virtual box, it's fine. But CD, if you're in a Ubuntu, you can directly uh, set your pop or change your directory directly. There is no option to use. But in Ubuntu, you need to use MNT. You need to mount the directory. Like, I'm here. In A drive, the Nimsha software training, NCL, NCL 2020. I know my prop, I know the directory, right? In Ubuntu, you can directly say, okay, CD, then you can type F, it's like. But in Ubuntu 10, you should type MNT. You need to mount. You can't directly change your directory. What I said in Cgwin, when I taught CDO, you, sh you should type CD, then seek drive. Then you go your path, right? Did you understand? In Ubuntu, like under Windows 10, you need to type CD, then MNT, you need to mount. Now, I will type F. I know in my F directory, right? You know your pod, you know your directory. I, I don't know your computer, right? Mm -hmm. So MNT, then F, type tab. You know the tab? Like up of the caps lock, there is a tab. You type the tab. Then F, then in my, like IMSHA software training, NCL, NCL uh, 20. I know my pod. I don't know your pop, but I know my, my, where is my data, right? Then the Linux command ls. ls means you want to see the list of files. So now I can see my file. UV is there, right? So I know. Now I'm sure I'm there. 
right? What I said, computer is a machine, it's not a human being, so they can't find your data. You need to, uh, you need to set your directory, you need to uh, let, the, let the computer know, okay, your data is here. From here, you can extract your data, right? Now, I'm there, maybe you have finished your changing directory, right? Now, NCL file dump. This is a command. Then our file UV. So now we can see our data description, right? We need to know the variable's name. We can see more in NCL. We have the code. We can know more about variables, but before you know, we need to know the variable names, right? If you don't know, how can I access my variables, right? They're saying, okay, <coughs> these are data. So we have the time, level, let, loan, et cetera, et cetera. So this is our variables. Eastward wind and northward wind, right? So this is our variable name. And file type is float. Data type is float, right? I will not talk about float, double, et cetera, et cetera. So these are file names. So our data has four dimensions. We have time, we have level, we have let and long, right? Okay, the unit is meter per second, right? Then we have the fill value, like we have, if you have the missing value, fill value, but the product is six hour forecast. Okay, six hours, six hours. So we know our data name, right? Okay. So this is the NCL syntax. In every computer, every programming language has the character, like you have the syntax, right? So in NCL, this is a common in every, lang every language. It's like this is assignment operator, right? You need to assign any variables. So this one, this is a comment in NCL. If you use the semicolon, this is comment. Like if you want to make comment in NCL, then NCL will ignore that line. Or any anywhere you can put the semicolon. So NCL will not like count this line or etc. this code, right? Ignore. Then this dash, then this one, is used to import or export the variables. It can be by add file functions, I'm coming, add file or add files, whatever. So this is the three syntax. Let's see the example. In NCL, if you want to import our data, even in the, you, you have already finished the MATLAB, right? MATLAB has different load, or open Excel, or read Excel, etc., etc. So, Every language, every software has the function to import your data or open your data, right? Then NCL, we need to use the add file, but add file only like a single file. I'm coming. Even an NCL can open, if you have the 1,000 files, NCL can handle. This is the most powerful. There's a glasses limitation. So this is the function. You can give any name the file name. You want to open. What I said, you need to give the variable name, like assign, right? A, whatever, you can give your name, but it's not convenient. You can give A, this means the file. Then we use this function, add file. If you have only single file, remember. Then file name, it can be any name. Then the, you know, the extension, is, if it is text file, so dot txt, if it is csv, dot csv, or Excel, XLS like this, etc. or the netcdf.nc, right? You know the data. Then the status. What does it mean the status? Status means you want to open your data, but what do you want to do? Do you want to read your file? Or do you want to create the file? Or do you want to write file? Right? There are three options. Like what I said in NCL also can write. You can export different files. So sometimes you need to create the file, okay? Or maybe you need to write something. But as we want to open your, our data, so we use R, mean you want to read. So R, all supported formats. It can be any type of data you want to open there, so we will use the R. Means we want to read this file. Kaima. Now, this is an example, like code. 
like I ha we have the UV data, right? So UV dot NC should be within the location. It's plus C. If you have the idea about C, C follow always the double quotation. So in it, it should be within the location, your name dot NC, then should be comma. Then we want to read our file, right? Then this is an example. If you you already know your data variables, right? Like in your file that you know the name of the variables. Say for example your data like variables is u. So from f, what I say, this one, this syntax, you need to use an NCL. That's mean NCL will understand you want to open or you want to export your data. Did you get it? So that's why we use this sign. But from where we want to open? From F file. NCL already read this file, right? So F, from F, we want to open the, our variables u. You can give here any name. But this one should be from the data file. But this one you can give any name. Any name. But this one should be the variable name from the data file. From where? From the f. You define by f. You read this file by f, right? So it should be f. Then you want to access u. Then, if you want to see the variables, more details, like that time we just use NCL file down. We just know our data name and data type, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we want to know more about our variables, right? That's why in like in every languages has like print is a common. If you want to some print, you want to see something, so we use the print. But in NCL, pin bar, bar means variable, summary. So you want to see the variable summary, then within parentheses you need to use the, okay, you define by u, you define by v, right? Then what you will get here? Overview of the variable contents like, what is the data type? It can be plot, double, short, etc. The dimension information, We'll get there, how many dimensions do we have, right? Then the coordinate information, then the attributes. Okay, I'm coming here. Say for example, you type U. Now, NCL give the type, the data type is double. Then saying the number of dimensions, four dimension. You have the time, you have the level, you have the lab and long, right? Then the coordinates. In coordinates, you have time, level, lat long. So you can see everything here. Maybe your data is global. If you, your data is global, like this, or maybe from 0 to 357 point something, like 360. So maybe you are not sure your data is global or the regional, right? Or maybe you have the global data, but your aim to analyze your data within your country or like your interest area, right? You, you want to analyze your data you want to plot over your country or maybe the, your interested area but your data is global you need to know from where 90 degree 90 or like 180 to 80 or whatever what, what is the coordinate so it's giving you the idea here it's saying the global so if you know it is global then you can cut in NCL you can cut or by CDO you can cut your data with your own interest, right? You know this thing. Then number of attributes. Attributes mean the information, the description of the variable. Like the no, long name is John Alwin component. Or maybe you have the temperature data. Maybe it's monthly mean year temperature. 
may be of the precipitation data, it may be the monthly mean or monthly data, whatever, you will get the idea. Or maybe it's hourly data, or maybe it's 30 minutes or 6 hour product, right? Everything you will get from there, even you will get the units. So, you know everything your data. Now you can analyze. You can go forward. Otherwise, you will get error. Like, your data type is double, another data type you want to, like, calculate something, another data type is flawed, it's mismatch. So you need to convert or make the same. Floating is not a big deal. Okay, now, okay, open your data, yeah, code, this code, and run and try. So this is the code, what I say, our variable name is this one, right? Check. It's not you. You need to copy this. This is our variable name. Or if you want to change, I told in CDO, you can change the variable name, right? So here, this is U and B. These are variable names, so you need to write here. I already explained, we read the file. Then from F, we want to export our U variable, right? Then we want to print. So I put semicolon this, that means this is the comment, right? You need to omit, delete this semicolon if you want to print. So then type exit. Exit means I don't want to run the whole code. You understand? I have the more course, but I don't know this course. Or I don't want to run the whole code. I want to fix one by one. So in NCL, we, if you type the exit, then it will exit. Okay, so just what, what we learn, we want to run this. We can know that you. We can know B. Okay, type NCL. And every software, every language, you need to type like this. If you are Python, then you need to write to Python. If it's CDO, you need to type CDO. So, NCL, then our file name, what? NCL first class NCL, right? These are our code name. So, type NCL, then the code name. Then type enter. How are you? This is the data type is plot. Four dimension data. Then coordinates. If this is a time, this is a level. We have only two levels, 200 and 850. Then our data is global. Clear? That two was like standard name is stored wind, six hourly product, then units meter per second. This is a view. Now we are clear our variables, our data, right? Okay, now, if you have the thousands of files, the first one was add file, like if you want to open only one single file. But if you have 10 files, you will open one by one? No. Yeah, you can merge in CDO, you can merge and open, it's okay. But still NCL can handle hundreds of files or thousands of files you have. But it will take time. Depends on your data size. So if you have more than one files, then you use the add files. This is another function. So you can add files. By default, we need to cat. You know the catenation or join, we want to merge. We want to join our data, right? Catenation. Then we need to use the system function. And we use the asterisk. You know the use of this one? Why use this asterisk? Do you have any idea? All the files. Yeah, all files. Like if you have the next CDF file, you have the text file. It doesn't to open one by one. So we use in, in, in the computer programming, we use the asterisk. Means we want to open the whole, right? So, 
this is the option. First, you need to use this system function. That means you need to show your pod or directory. What is your data? Is it in current directory or maybe you have the another folder, right? Maybe the, it has like another directory. So you need to show the pod. This is a ls. I just talk about this ls. ls means to see the list of files. So you say the list of files, then I said, okay, star x, then dot nc. So if there is nc files dot nc, then it will take the whole files dot nc file. If it is text file, it will take the whole text file. Okay. Then we use the add files. From there, we need to use r means we need to read our files. Then the same way, you need to. Uh, define your variable's name, but there is an option. We use the square bracket. A square bracket is like a list. Even it is the indexing operator if you have the experience in Python. So a, within the square bracket, we use a colon. That means you have maybe 10 files. These all are list of files, right? Then you need to take that all 10 files and make it one. That's why we use the square bracket. Square bracket means this is the like list type of data. This is the data file, 10 files of list. Then this is also called the indexing operator. So you want to take the whole files, whole list of files. That's why we use a colon. Kaima, OMP, Mayola. Okay, so now remove the exit and make this comment use the semicolon right like if you want to <coughs> open this make this comment and make this uncomment why i'm coming one by one so now i said system function i use this function right then ls why i'm giving this one because my data is here. I have 12 month of data. Okay? So I have the 12 file dot nc. It can be is the same directory, it's fine. But I have the another data, it's different type of data. That's why I don't want to mix. Even NCL can't. Even any programmer will can't if you have different types of data. Right? That's why I made it different. Like I created one folder and I kept my data here. It's safe, it's better, right? So now, as your data is not in your current directory, so you need to show NCL where is your data. So you need to define your pop. That's why I said ls. ls means this command will see the list of files from where this is my folder here yeah, temperature and then i use the historics if you find the in this directory dot nc file you take the whole <coughs> understanding is the key even you will get in one line even in google you will find the code but you need to understand the line floating is not a big deal so now, add files, read, then, okay, first we need to know our variable name, right? That's why you need to come here, I can change the directory, cd, one step back, then your temperature. I made mistake. Yeah. 
we are here. So just C D, then here we are here, right? So I made mistake. I go, uh, went one step back. So you see it there, and you will see the list of files. We need to know our variable name. Like last time, we used the NCL file dump. Now we also use the NCL file dump. But that that one was the different data type, UV. But this is a year temperature, right? We need to know the variable name. So NCL file dump. Temp zero one. You need to choose just one file because the whole file, the twelve file, has the one single variables with the same name. So now our name is year. Variable name is year, so it's monthly mean of year temperature, right? So we know our variable name is year. Clear? We use this square bracket because we have. 12 list of files and we want to take the whole okay so in the square bracket now we need to change our directory we need to one step back now I am here my code is there that's why I come back I check my data file okay now type the previous one. Okay, so then we want to print uncomment this line and exit. Now, yeah, it will take time. It's only 12 files. If you have the more files, so it will take time, right? So now our data is stem. So our data type is short. We have the four dimension. This is also the global data. Right? So this is the monthly mean year temperature. The unit is degree centigrade. So now we know our data, right? Now there is a question. What I said, like you have the global data, but you are only interested uh, to extract your data within your interested area, right? Or over your country. So, like, if you want to do like this, so you need to use this curly bracket. So, if you want to coordinate subscript, so you need to use curly bracket. But you need to know NCL is zero base, like Python. Like MATLAB is one base. In MATLAB class, I showed you we use a one, right? For indexing, we use a one. But Python, even the NCL is zero base. So that means if you have like 10, it should be zero to nine. Zero means one. Clear? If you have the four dimension, it should be zero to three. N minus one is zero base. So you need to know this thing, right? So we use the curly bracket for the coordinate subscript in NCL. Then if you want to create or access the attributes, like we have the description, right? We are saying monthly mean temperature, or like we have the precipitation, etc., etc. So we <coughs> we use this uh, at the rate to access or create the attributes. Then use the exclamation mark to access or create the name dimension. We have the name dimension, right? Time, let, loan, etc. If you want to access or create the coordinate variable, like you have the let and long, then we use this end. So every language has the different use. So now let's see the example. Like you have the variable u. So you have the n time, k labels, n let, and m long. So if you want to access them, so zero should be the first one, the time. What I said, instead of zero base. 
Like you want to extract the time, but you are typing one. No, it should go here if it is one. So be careful. Okay. Now, for example, what I said, your data is global, but you don't want to take the global data. Like in CD, you cut the data, right? But in NCL, you don't need to cut. Even if you have the global data, you just use the subscript, like the curly bracket. We have the four dimension, right? Then within the parenthesis, use the first, okay. If you want to take the whole time, you use the colon. It's the same in every language, you use the colon. Then use the comma. Then if you want to take the whole labels, it's fine. You just use colon, then comma. Now my interest is, I want to take my own country, or our own country, or whatever you want. Then you need to define your let and long. It should be smallest to largest. It shouldn't be like, 30 to 10, no, it should be 10 to 30, right? So, say for example, I want to take the left from 10 to 30. Our data is global, it's from 90 to 90. So 90 north and south. The first class is very, very important, right? If you don't understand, if you miss one, so next time you, uh oh, what is going on? So, I want to take only 10 to 30, the positive, right? This is a zero, right? So I have to take 10 to 30, maybe from there to there. Then we have to take the long, like 40 to 100, maybe from 40 to 100. So within this area, say for example, I have to take only this area. So I don't need to take the whole. Maybe my country is there. Maybe the research area is there. So why I need to use the whole country, the whole globe? No. It will take the computer time. You know that? When you give the data, the computer will take time to calculate, to analyze your data, right? So well, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask about that. Mm -hmm. And if you want to take the other side, how do you say that the, the small, small people also yeah. include the name? I'm, I'm coming, coming one by one. I'm coming. I know, I know. Your data is saying 0 to 357, but you have the negative. NCLS function, I'm coming. NCLS function, you need to long flip, then it will make it 80 to 80. I know that one. Maybe y y your country is there. Okay, that's the option. Yeah, you okay. can. So this is, okay. Now, you just make this comment, this line. Did you get it? First, I open the hole, but my interest now, only from 10 to 30, and 40 to 100, then uncomment this line. Did you get it line now? You need to use the parenthesis. Then I want to take the whole time, whole labels, and let from 10 to 30, and the long 40 to 100. Right? Now print summary. Run this code. You see, it should be changed. You need to check. Our data was from 90 to 90 and 0 to 357, but we said 10 to 30, right? And long 40 to 100, and it should change. Okay, run this code. You see. President, you see, changed. It was global, but. <coughs> A subscript. Okay. Now maybe you want to change the long name. Maybe this is a monthly mean year temperature you want to change. Or you have the unit degree centigrade you want to make C or whatever you want to change. You can also change in NCL. So like if you want to change the name, like you have the wind you just calculate the wind speed, you can create the name, you can give the name or you can access the name. Like, there is the reserve keywords in NCL. This is, if you type the long name, NCL will understand you want to access or create the file variable names. Then, if you type the units, NCL will understand you want to change or you want to access the units. Clear? 
So this is the reason, but you need to type the at the rate. What I said here, at the rate may access or create attributes. You want to access the attributes or if you want to create, you want to change. Like I say, you can change, you can give the name, John Alwin. Okay? Or uh, maybe you want to access or change the name dimension. You have the time, label, let long, right? So we use the exclamation mark. So you just use this one. The first one is in time, right? There is a maybe time. You can change time to T. It's up to you. You can change or you can access if you need. Like what, why you need, maybe you, you just created one file. Maybe you want to export or save another file. So you need to create this. Did you get it? You need to create this file name, unit, etc., etc. Then you save. Okay. Then if you want to change, but we don't need to change. Already have the let alone. But sometimes, like a new file, you are creating the new file. You have the output. Then you want to save as a new file. Then you can create your let alone. You just this one. Okay. Let's see the example. Remove this exit, then type. Okay, now I want to give the year temperature. You see, there was monthly mean temperature, right? I want to change the long name. Then the unit is degree centigrade. I, I just want to give the only C, Celsius. Okay? You can change the name. Now, now omit this comment. Okay? Save and run. I see change here. Coding is not a big deal. Understanding is the key in any languages. Now, you need to reorder your dimension. Why? President, before coming to the loan, like if you have data file, but sometimes you need to reorder. Do you know why? We can only plot of a lawn and lab, right? Two dimensional, right? In NCL has a structure, time, then should be lab, then should be long. NCL follow this structure. Maybe you, you, you can have the labels, it's fine. But long should be after lab. Maybe two years ago, I have downloaded data from Giovanni. My data was like time, long, length. So in NCL, you can't plot. You can't. So that's why you need to reorder. Should be time. If you have the level is level, then length long. So you need to reorder. So this way you can reorder. Then you can use the pipe. You know the pipe? Five then colon means you want to take the whole time. Or maybe even you, here you can subtract, like you with the curly bracket. Then use the lat and long. Now, maybe your data was time long lat. If you do that, your time, uh, data will be time lat long. It just reorder the dimension. Then, if you want to subtract, instead colon, you can use the curly bracket. What I said, like curly bracket, and you can set your let long, what you want. Okay, but you need to use the pipe. You need to use this pipe. Okay, you said you have the negative, right? Okay, let me open. There is, should be function long flip in NCL. <coughs> oh, 
let me try first. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one is I subtracted, right? Comment the term. Yeah. These are global one, right? These are global, 360. Okay, let's try with loan flip. Now you can search for the negative. Okay, Ansel can do. Ansel is powerful software. That's why I suggest, I advise to learn Ansel. You can publish your good uh, Yeah, you see now, you can you, see. You mentioned it before you start from the smaller set of the largest. Yeah. And now, maybe Ansel also can understand even from the coordinates. No, it's okay, it's fine. Even if you have the positive one, it's fine. But if you have the negative one, then, if you use the negative NCL log post, that's why if you have like the 0 to 357, it's not like 100, negative 180 to 80, but you have, your area is negative coordinate, right? Then you need to use the long flip, this function. Maybe 180 to 80. Now you can ex extract your negative, yeah? I didn't get you. Could you speak loudly? dimension you need to reorder did you get it yeah. reorder okay for the plotting purpose okay but we are talking about yeah that I'm coming <coughs> we are talking about like our data is not negative 180 the longitude 80 is saying 0 to something right but maybe he, he's from Africa so for example or maybe the other areas have the negative longitude, right? But your longitude is not 0 to 357. Did you get it? Okay. That's why we use the long flip to change the longitude, like in instance 0 to 357 to 100, negative 80 to 80, 180. Now your points, we use the subscript here, right? If your data time is like time long lag, you want to subscribe, you don't want to re reorder, but you want to subscribe, then here should be long. Like here, long is here, but if your data long is here, it should come here. The left should be there. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need to know how. That's Okay, thank you so much for your coming. Uh, this is the last 
of tonight class. Maybe you have a question. Okay, it's fine. I will upload uh, the video on my YouTube channel. So maybe if you miss something or maybe for future you can go there and you can see. Uh, please subscribe my channel if you are new here. Okay, thank you so much. Then you just type exit. Finish. <laughs>